Okay. My desk is first time I've ever seen that. Good morning, Arizona. Hey guys, it's me, Nicola Dickens from Free Mike here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, whichever the case may be. So today we are doing a weed haul video. We went to Halo. <coughs> Excuse me, went to Green Halo yesterday for um, a restocking. So I thought, you know something, let's just get this done and let's do a weed haul video and say hi this morning and see what we got in here that we can check out today. So, hmm. We'll just start right here. So we have several different edibles because yesterday was medical day. So they gave 20% off on all edibles, tinctures, and that type of thing yesterday. So I got several etiquette uh medibles, medibles yesterday, um, and learned a few different things while I was doing it. So the QR codes, I have been playing around with them and have really found that they are starting to put testing information under those QR codes. So if you're interested in what those testing informations are, you can always look them up online or just scan it with your phone and check them out. One thing I don't like about it is that it actually doesn't really show you any of the test results. It only gives you like a pass or a fail type thing. Um, there are no carcinogen testings. There's no none of these other testings around there. And I would really like to see this industry come together in that. Simply because this is a, a medical industry. We are doing this as medically sound as possible. So we take notes. I mean, we're doing this very, very scientifically. We're, you know, we're testing a lot of this stuff. Not only on ourselves, our friends, and our, and, you know, mostly ourselves. And we're really good at it. Um, but we do all kinds of those things to do this. So changing names on products, not a cool idea. So if it is a, let's say, cookie strain, put the actual cookie strain on there. Keep it as transparent as possible because when somebody goes into your dispensary because they're looking for something to actually help them with something like RSO, they need to be able to trust what's on that package. So today we are going to try Medical Gummies Broad Spectrum Cannabinoid Therapy. This is a one to zero THC CBD uh, level. This package is 260 milligrams. And I'll get this up here for you. So let me close that up a little. You see there's a QR code on the bottom. They've got QR codes on the back. You can, I mean, you can literally kind of see how they're doing everything. I love that they are putting badge information and everything else on the back of here. However, I would like to see this sativa blend be more of a um, strain specific. So that we know what we're using to medicate and what's helping us and what's not. So, let's taste it out. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're super cute. They are super sugared. My kind of candy. So we're going to try one of these suckers. Wow, they are super sugared. There's a lot of sugar on that candy. Not bad, but a lot of sugar on that candy. Mm. Okay. Now that I got through the sugar, <laughs> so this had to have been made with some type of concentrate distillate something like that because you don't really taste that cannabis that's in there actually has a really good flavor to it sorry i'm trying to cover my mouth when i eat gross when you don't <laughs> it's actually a really good flavor i've had several of them that have good flavor but they have that weed undertone this does not have that at all i don't taste the weed at all which is amazing it tastes very good <clears throat> so on these i believe it is 15 milligrams per gummy So it says for dosing, new patients with little or no experience with cannabis should use no more than half of a gummy. And that would be a 7.5 milligram. So yes, they are 15 milligram gummies. Um, wait 90 minutes and then try the other half if you're not feeling it. So I don't know about you guys, I've been, auto, I've been way higher than that, that new patient type of person. So 
it would take about this entire bag. But we will do that for the show. Because I am actually, I will be having, I have other uploads that will be coming in. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I just lost the feed for some strange reason. But, and I forgot what I was saying now too. You know I am? Oh, well, let's just go in bed. So we got a few different concentrates today. And I haven't been able to find these um, mini slabs in a while. Um, they did have the mini slabs over there at Green Halo, which I really like the, the mini slabs because they're three and a half um, grams. So you get a nice amount of concentrate. So that, I mean, that is a, a good amount of concentrate there. So that's about, mm, probably about two and a half, three there in this one. And let's just take a moment and smoke. So this one is, and this is the one we're going to try now. This one is Bubba Blast from Venom Extracts. It has a very nice color. It's a clear color, which I really like. It's got, I mean, it's like this little perfect disc. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's gonna be like, okay, I, I need to pull the camera out and do a photo shoot with this one. This one's pretty. Okay, so let's do this. So, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Weedy family here on YouTube. I will hopefully be back at it again every day at about 10 a.m. Today was a little bit different. I woke up this morning to snow. We actually have had snow in Arizona. So, we took the dogs for a walk and I put some snow pictures of them out in the on social media so everybody could see it that you know hell has frozen over it is snowing in arizona kind of a funny side note is normally between because we're at a rv park right now um, but normally between hmm, anywhere from 5 a.m to about nine you have people that are out of here very quickly so you have people that'll load up and they're gone every day at that time and today i have not seen one trailer leave it's been very interesting i'm like okay none of them want to drive in the snow too so but but we'll be here till after my surgery this next time in two weeks in two weeks surgeries in two weeks snow too? Yeah, there's snow out there. I was like, okay, sweet. So my, my Malamute out there got to go play in the, the, the very slime of the, the snow that was out there. He, I don't think he cared. The little one wanted to eat it all, but the big one hmm, didn't really care. So as always guys, fuck cancer, fuck anxiety, fuck depression, in with the good and out with the bad. A couple of Halo's dispensary brand um, concentrate, which this one is Jelly Breath Shatter, and this one is Confidential Cookies. So I haven't opened these yet. I will open these up for the review when we do them. But yeah, those are beautiful. Blueberry Kush 
from Venom Extract. It's one of my favorite. It is 100% um, indica strain. Um, this one I don't ever have to look up. I already know by the, you know, by my heart because it's one of my favorites. But this one is again another mini slab, so another 3.5 grams. Nice thickness to it too. So we got two of those mini slabs in there. One hybrid, one indica, and then we went for another indica gram shatter. And this one is cornbread. Another pretty color. Again, not open until we go to do this. And then we have, there's more. We have these, <clears throat> excuse me, vanilla caramels. There are 90 milligrams in a package. These are a one to zero um, ratio, uh, one being the THC, zero being the CBD. So these are a broad spectrum cannabinoid therapy. Um, these as well, each piece is 15 milligrams. Let me show it to you. Now, I haven't tasted these yet. Um, I got these for hubby. So, I will probably take a little piece of his and taste it and then do, uh, let you guys know what it tastes like from there. But, I leave those for him. We get another Halo bar. Well, not another Halo bar. Another chocolate bar. But, this one is a Halo bar. This is a milk chocolate. Uh, Halo bar. Cannabis infused milk chocolate. Who's a good bar? Broad spectrum. Cabinoid therapy. Um, chocolate bar, and so the, this one's 120 milligrams. Um, there's so many pieces there are. Each one of these is 15 milligrams a piece, too. So these also are sh not strain specific, just um, type. So it's, this is an indica blend specific. They did use a BHO method. So you're really not going to notice the taste of the cannabis as much because of how they, uh, because of what they used in it. Um, the only time you would get a lot of taste out of the, out of out of the BHL that way would be to add terpenes, and then you would have that. And in some cases, there's a lot that goes really well with chocolate. Let me tell you, terpene wise. But it goes. <clears throat> and then my favorite. First we have here, um, oh, here, go ahead and let you guys take a look-see. I'm trying to get back into the, into the swing of this, but I'll tell you what, I'm forgetting. I'm like, what do I say, what do I say? Mount Lemon, so it's, oh yeah, that would be definitely snow in Mount Lemon. <laughs> that would be beautiful place to go though so they have these uh canna confections these are fruity mellow uh, the fruity pebble treats and i think we're just gonna give one a shot right now let's see what it feels like so they had two two strengths of these fruity pebble treats um a 50 and a 25 milligram this one is the 50 milligram um, the 25 milligram is a little bit smaller, but, um, I don't have those. So, and those I have four of, because those, these are something I can eat without it really hurting or upsetting my stomach. Those stuff are messy. That's really good. That's really good. So this has an indica blend in it. Manufacturer's date was October 7th of 2020. This was made from BHO as well. Form is the edible. Storage zone ambient. Sample date was 12-29-20. Total THC 1.97 
milligrams, absolutely no CBD. This is obviously made with BHO because we just said that. Hmm. And then the date they were put out. So, and then this is a 25 milligram brownie. Again, I'm not a brownie person. So this is something I'll save for heavy. But, mm. holy crap. Wow. Okay. I do have to make mention of this, however. Here is the brownie. This is the moistest brownie that I've had prepackaged like this that I have ever had out of a dispensary. This is this is very moist. It I mean it doesn't it doesn't uh, feel like it was frozen. Wow, that's impressive. So I don't know if you guys have noticed they all have like that crispy or crunchy outer area. This doesn't have it at all. It is nice and soft and moist all the way around. So that I like. <clears throat> so overall, um, we spent. Hmm, I'll just show you. So overall, I think we did pretty good. Um, we got, I believe we got a 15 per, or 20 percent off for it being Medical Day. And then we got an additional 10 percent off because we had the best bud tender in the world. Um, so you know that we'll definitely be back. But overall, this is actually really good too. This, this, I mean, this still tastes fresh, which is, I don't want to sound amazed, but most of the edibles I have gotten kind of have that taste that they've been frozen first. So when I get one that's fresh, I'm like, oh wow. It doesn't happen often. Hmm. It's actually really good. So they have a lot of really good deals. Check them out on Leafly. They are just out, I want to say on the outskirts of Tucson, Arizona. Um, cute little dispensary, really nice people. All the bud tenders have like doctor jackets on and it's just a really cute little theme place. They have their trophies um, from the Earl Cup right there in the lobby. Overall, it's a really great thing. Yesterday we were having some technical difficulty, but I think it was a lot of weather that was going on. But overall, I really like Halo. It's been a really cute little dispensary. I like the people that are there. I would definitely go back. I'd definitely refer them to somebody. Especially being clean edible. Hmm. It's a lot of cereal though. Somebody who doesn't eat a lot. Mm. <clears throat> Must be one last dab and we will be out of here for the day. Let's do some of Halo's own jelly bread. <clears throat> oh, Look at that. This is some good steak. 
table shatter as well. This is more of a snap and pull. Kind of let you see what it is. See how it, it's like still, that would be a snap and pull instead of a shatter. Um, so it's a little unstable, just a tad. Because even when snap and pull starts to stick on your fingers, that means it's a little over-processed. So, or under-processed. I had a really rough night last night. So, probably eat <clears throat> All of the snow has melted off of the truck. You can see the windshield now. So guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Weedy family here on YouTube. Where I'm trying to get here every day at 10 a.m. Just kind of go over some of the stuff that we're doing. And kind of get me through to, you know, the next few weeks as I'm getting closer and closer to surgery. And then hopefully as we're getting closer and closer to opening the curve to starting the farm, we will then start again. I have a hard time with the edibles. I have a really hard time with the edibles. And the only reason why is because they're so big. I like need a miniature edible with an extra shot in it. <laughs> And if you're not used to edibles, be careful because it can cause you a little bit of di digestional mm, issues that has been known to happen. So you can end up with a, what, what, I, sorry, what I so affectionately call bubble gut. Or, the worst part, you can end up constipated from it. So, keep an eye on your edibles. Most of the time you end up with bubble gut. It goes right through you. As always, guys, fuck cancer, fuck anxiety, fuck depression, in with the good and out with the bad. really good. I'm actually really surprised. Because I've had some yucky edibles in my time. You know, mind you, you have to like half halfway whole and swallow them or something if you can't get them down there so bad. Oh, goodness. And the mix between the, the fruity pebble and the concentrate actually is, is very complementary. They both kind of kind of work really well together. As always, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Mad love, as always. Bye.